So minggu lepas saya sudah bagi setup di video sebelum ni saya cakap Bitcoin boleh enter long di previous month high sebab ini ialah kawasan support yang sangat kuat. And if you look at what happened to Bitcoin, nampak this was the previous video yang saya post two days ago. Look at this entry previous month high, take profit to it one one eight around there. Look at what happened if you would have entered right here. Nampak ni a beautiful change of character here. Look at this, pop pop. The bricks in it, sambung naik. So this would have been a very very nice long trade if you had taken it. So kalau anda follow trade setup di video sebelum ni, you would have had a very good trade on Bitcoin, right? Right up to almost touching the previous week high. Yeah. So this was a very beautiful trade, and now look at what happened. Bitcoin just baru saja patah balik ke bawah, right? And we're touching this support level again. So sebenarnya ini ialah kawasan long yang sangat cantik. Why? Sebab bukan saja kita ada previous day low, but we also have this four hour or higher time frame for the block right here. So I was actually looking to long here, but saya tak sempat sebab sekarang saya bu bukan di Malaysia. I mean uh, Dubai right now, so saya travelling sedikit tak sempat enter trade. But if you had entered this trade right here, what a beautiful long that would have been. Take a look at this. So kalau anda long sini, right at the start of this order block, pop sharp entry, stop loss below here. Sudah dapat, right? Sudah dapat two to one, so easy. Yeah. So this would have been a good trade. But kena ingat hari ini pun ada news. So this um, tambahan technical analysis dengan news, very volatile, very sharp entry, very very fast profit. Yeah. So <coughs> sebelum kita tengok apa lagi setup yang kita boleh cari Maybe over the weekends we can look for a few setups uh, Let's Ada sesuatu saya nak tunjuk which is very weird Nampak ni This is fear and greed index untuk uh, traditional markets right? S&P 500, stock markets Currently in extreme fear right? Extreme fear yeah? Tengok stock heat map for the past month Everything is red So Dalam stock market, dalam traditional market, everybody is scared, right? But crypto ni, community crypto ni lain macam, right? Saya rasa community crypto ni memang degenerate lah. Sebab when all the other markets are scared, look at what is happening to crypto. Crypto steady sir, neutral, 50%, right? Not even slight fear. It's completely neutral. Saya rasa memang sebab crypto ni biasa lah kalau drop. 10% uh, 20% is normal. So if we look at the crypto bubbles one for the past month, a lot of green, a lot a lot of green. Right? So very very interesting thing to pay attention to. Uh, I still feel like it's weird sebab crypto is such a new asset kalau bandingkan dengan traditional markets. Right? So dollar strength macam saya cakap di video sebelum ni, the dollar strength DXY is going up. S&P 500 uh, Nasdaq all going down but crypto saja yang sedang naik sedang uptrend dari awal tahun ni and for since last month juga we've had a very nice uptrend right so it's quite weird sebab dia is doing the opposite of the traditional market so let's take a look um, sebelum kita tengok possible setup for this weekend a few things I nak share. First things first, demo trading Bonanza di Bybit. So ini untuk new user sahaja, right? Kalau anda tidak pernah trade lagi, you guys can open a demo trading account di Bybit. Dia akan bagi duit demo. You can trade with demo money, and you can win up to 25 USD, seratus ringgit, right? Just by joining demo trading. So kalau anda nak join ni, tekan uh, link Telegram di bawah sebelah kanan ni, t.me slash Kyle's open circle and saya dah post dekat sini this is the open circle um, so this is the demo trading link you guys can sign up here right and I believe uh, let's check it out there is a lucky draw juga right lucky draw contest so you can win up to 25 USD just by demo trading tak perlu guna duit betul pun right so very interesting check out the link in the description and join the open circle take part in this demo trading contest Right, 
Um, one more thing sebelum kita cari potential setup Saya sangat-sangat rasa terbakar semangat Sebab saya nampak member dalam Elite Circle Walaupun saya sedang uh, terbang Nampak, uh, let's see In the Elite Circle I just posted uh, Kemarin saya terbang Flying to Dubai So saya busy tak sempat share trade or anything But mereka happy-happy trade dekat sini Right Ni bro Afiq long arc lah Long arkem lah And then Kena TP 16% bro 16% kena TP So kalau anda guna leverage Sangat mantap So I feel really really happy And uh, Proud of this community Yang mereka boleh sustain diri mereka sendiri And I hope even more Traders Even more people can Learn And can get this Skill of trading Right so something I'm really um, happy about for this week, the Elite Circle. Very good, very good job. Now let's take a look at some possible setups. First thing first, let's look at crypto bubbles for this week. Uh, RLB, Seoul, BSV, AVAX, TWT, RNDR. Let's see if we have possible setups. Let's look at Bitcoin first. So Bitcoin, um, again, this zone dekat bawah ni is something that I would like to keep an eye on to long from right kita baru sentuh zone ni tadi baru saja sentuh um, I would like to see a more clear indication that we can long right because this is sebab the news dia turun cepat and then naik cepat but I would like to see a nice change of character maybe a double bottom forming here or inverse head and shoulders triple bottom right before we enter a long trade so a possible long trade that you could look at maybe from here first TP previous month high disebab ini lah level yang level SNR yang kuat next TP liquidity pool right here right we have a potential double top so we have some liquidity up here and possibly all the way up to the previous day high 28101 right so this is a possible long trade yang korang boleh keep an eye on Let's see, kita ada, we have a Fibonacci pool for this. Let's take a look at this. Uh, a little bit below, a little bit below. So, dekat area sini pun, this would be a nice long as well. Right here. Right. So, we have this, what can be considered like an order block on the 4 hour time frame. Plus, kita baru tarik Fibo and we have that 786 level lining up nicely over here. So, around 264, possibly a nice level to uh, long from. Let's look at the liquidation heat map. Bitcoin liquidation heat map. Oops. Oops, what's this? Chat now, guys. This, yes. Oh, uh, it's not this. Apa ni? This. Alright, so this is our liquidation heat map. Let's look at the past one week. So... Yeah, we have a lot of liquidity building up at the bottom. So, very nice area to long from. Let's see if anything lines up with our level. Yeah, so potentially we want to long from 26, 26, 26, 20, sorry, 20, yeah, exactly 26. So, exactly 26, what do we have here? Exactly 26. Yeah, we have this level previous week low lining up with our previous day low. So we have some nice levels here, you got for a long. Uh fit pull, let's pull it from here. Oh this is very nice actually. <coughs> so kalau kita tengok liquidation heat map, there's a lot of liquidity around 26k. So liquidity is where basically Bitcoin can kumpul duit, kumpul isi minyak supaya dia boleh gerak lagi right, sebab market akan gerak dari liquidity ke liquidity so if we can line this up dengan kita punya technical analysis it gives us extra confluence 
for our trading plan. So we can see 26k is a very nice level, a lot of liquidity building up here, right? And we can see if we do some, pull some fibs, draw some levels, 26k, <coughs> we got previous week low, key level, previous day low, satu lagi key level, plus Fibonacci pull from this high, from sorry, from this low to this high, right? <coughs> we have 786 lining up right here, 256, 0.71, yeah? And the golden pocket around 261. So look for a change of character around these levels. Pergi ke lower time frame, right? Once anda sudah lukis zone macam ni, lukis zone anda macam ni, jangan terus enter. Tunggu harga masuk zone tu, pergi ke time frame lebih kecil, 1 minute, 3 minute, 5 minute, Tunggu change of character. Tunggu confirmation lebih detail, right? Double bottom, triple bottom, inverse head and shoulders, RSI oversold, right? Diver RSI divergence, yeah? Wait for this lower time frame confirmation supaya, en sorry, supaya entry anda lebih tepat and you can catch a good reversal trade, right? So that's a few uh, trade ideas for Bitcoin. So first long idea from here, Right, 27159. This for our order block here. The next level we're looking at, right here, possibly a long from here. And below that, lagi, maybe around this previous week low level. Right, so <coughs> jaga risk management on that. These are some long ideas. Of course, boleh juga cari short ideas, but kena tengok uh, the market bias lah. What is the current trend? So the current trend, if we look at just looking at last month dengan bulan ini, it's an uptrend. So we want to try and follow the current trend. But kalau nak scalping, nak scalping short long, it's okay. Just make sure you have that higher time frame zone and lower time frame confirmation. Kalau nak enter reversal trade, continuation trade, no problem. Right. So that's just a few ideas for Bitcoin. Let's see if we have anything interesting here. Kita tengok beberapa coin dulu lah. Let's look at RLB. I'm not sure if RLB... No, it's not on by bit. Uh, let's look at Sol, RNDR, AVAX. So Sol. Sol, very nice uptrend. Right. Very, very nice uptrend. We have this uh, support level right here. Right. S very nice support level. Let's pull a fib from here and see where things line up. So, apa yang saya nampak? I see this support level here. I see this support level yang sangat Menarik, sebab we have a nice support level plus, right, we have the FIB 0.786, so this would be a good level uh, to take a long from. Kalau kita ambil, uh, if we're just looking at support resistance, this could possibly be uh, an area for a long as well, right. So, kena, kita kena cuba tengok, sebab Bitcoin ialah, uh, pencetus untuk pergerakan kripto. So usually if Bitcoin is moving up, altcoin lain akan ikut. So kita kena cuba combinekan, right? We try and analyze di mana Bitcoin akan reverse, and then we also analyze altcoin lain, right? So let's say we're looking at Sol tadi kan? So we're looking at Sol. We have our levels to buy. Kalau level tu lebih kurang sama, let's say Bitcoin enter level buy, zone buy, at the same time Sol pun enter zone buy, that gives us a good extra confluence that price may move up, right? Sebab macam saya cakap tadi, Bitcoin ialah pencetus untuk menggerakkan crypto. So, <coughs> possible buy zone for Sol, of course boleh juga tengok, you can also trade within the current range right here, right? So currently we are at uh, the lower range. 
So kalau nak layan range ni pun boleh, right? We have some liquidity down here, obviously. So maybe a good area, and we have this support and resistance level, support level right here. So kalau nak layan short term, boleh layan short term buy dekat sini. Kalau dia break ke bawah, enter smaller time frame, right? Enter smaller time frame. Kalau dia break, look for a bearish retest and look for the next zone as your TP level, right? So that's just a few ideas for Seoul. Very interesting, but of course it's the weekend, so keep an eye on how price is moving, right? Weekend less volume, less volatility. We d we can't really expect it to move that much over the weekend. But then again, it's crypto, so sangat sangat unpredictable juga. Right, so that's just a few trade ideas untuk uh, this weekend. Kita akan sambung next week lagi. <coughs> for now, just to recap, I'm looking at a possible long for Bitcoin from here. But it looks like Bitcoin sekarang sudah reclaim this previous month high. Kalau if we can stay above this previous month high, plus we can stay above the VWAP, Maybe we can even take a long that is in here. Right. We look at our previous zone right here. So it's possible this zone can act as another entry point. Yeah. But kita baru habis news. So wait for the news to cool down a bit and then see where price stabilizes before you plan your trades. So that's just a quick update to recap our week. Uh and some possible trade ideas for next week. Another thing I want to recap. Uh, kita punya signal for this month so far has been very good. Ethereum short, very nice profit. Uh, C98, walaupun saya tak kena, saya tak sempat entry but price junam, very nice. A few members managed to get it. MKR, very nice short. Uh, Matic, nice short. Other a few a few trades kita tak sempat kena entry nampak INJ pun sikit lagi kena entry but tak kena uh, yeah so so far the trading in the elite circle has been on point so if you guys nak join elite circle ni tekan link di bawah uh, hope to see you guys in there happy trading and see you in the next video